What is going on everyone? I hope you're having a good weekend so far. I just want to let you guys know about a new effect that I'm coming out with this weekend for Final Cut Pro users. And I think it's um, quite enjoyable and I think you're going to enjoy it. So I'm going to show you guys um, how to actually create this on its own. But if you want to purchase the effect um, and sort of support my channel as well, um, then you can download it from the selfie link in the description. So it's 50% off for a limited time only. Um, so go pick that up while you can, um, but if you guys want to learn how to do it, then I'm going to show you guys um, how to get the effect. So the clips that you saw in the introduction, um, it's a girl, uh, little Instagram video that I made for my girlfriend before she moved away to Vancouver uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, and then it sort of got me thinking of how to create a nostalgic look um, that I think would be really cool for little Insta edits or the introduction to a video or something where it sort of makes it look like it's dated like 10 years ago or 15 years ago. So I came up with this vintage VHS look which I think is really cool um, and I'll show you guys a little bit of how to do the plugin. Um, so I'm just going to add an adjustment layer to over top of all these clips because then we can apply it over everything and then if we load our vintage VHS look over top you can see it instantly gets that sort of old school VHS vibe to it. So there's four controls for this one. One is going to be the waviness, um, which you get little sort of sideways glitches and offsets inside the clip, um, which I think um, it's more like less is more in this case. So I like to keep it at about 10, gives it a little bit of jitters, um, but not too bad. Static gives this sort of grainy um, digital look to it. Um, so again with that one I like to keep it at 27. Um, this is sort of where I catered all these um, preset defaults to. It's sort of what I like to use. And then RGB is just like a subtle RGB um, split in it. So that's without it. And then a little bit more which I think gives gives a, that sort of VHS um, vibe to it. And then blurriness as well because of, all the cameras that we're trying to recreate the look of um, were filmed 10, 15 years ago. The quality isn't that good, so you actually have to add a little bit of blur to it um, to create a more realistic effect. So that's without it, and then just by adding a little bit of blur, um, it gives that more VHS vibe to it. So that is the plugin. If you guys want to go pick that up, go get it now for only $2. But if you guys want to stay for the rest of the video, I'm going to show you guys how we can recreate this um, with a few plugins, but then you don't get the uh, ease of use with a preset. So we're going to delete that, and the first thing we're going to do is apply our blur. So if we go over into our video effects, I'm just going to scroll up to blur, and we're going to use the Gaussian blur, blur. I think that's how you say it. So we're just going to apply that to the clip, and as you can see, that is way too powerful. So for this effect, I like to do about four. Um, as you can see, it just gives a little bit of a blur. Uh, it gets rid of any sort of sharp edges uh, and creates much more realistic effect. I'm just going to apply just one clip so you guys can see, just so that it doesn't take too long on my computer. So that is the blur. The next effect that we're going to apply is going to be the prism blur as well. So it's actually right next to it in our blur category. So we're going to apply our prism. As you can see, that's way too much by default. Um, that's not really the natural look that we're going for. 
So for this, uh, drop that to four, maybe four or five, just so you can see see sort of the splitting happening um, around some of the highlights. You can see it in her hair and her shirt. And the next effect that we are going to apply to this is going to be the bad TV. So I'm just going to search this up for ease of use, and then we're going to drag the bad TV over top of this. So now we get a few different options um, just to play with. So as you can see, this looks very jittery if we just scrub through it right now. So the bad TV, we're going to drop this quite a bit um, to about five. And that's a little bit less, actually. We're going to do up to about 10. And static, we're going to leave that at film grain. Um, I like the look of that personally, but you can play around and sort of experiment with what looks best for you. And static blend mode, keep that at screen. And then the roll, um, you can keep it at zero if you want. You can keyframe this to actually add um, a little bit of movement back and forth, but I personally don't like the look of that. So we're going to leave that at zero, and that's going to make sure that there's nothing else in the frame. The next thing you can actually do is crop this in. So all the cameras that we shoot at these days are filmed with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but if you cropped it um, just off the left and the right to get more of a 4 by 3 look, um, it can actually be pretty interesting. So 4 by 3 we're just going to take off, I don't want to don't know the exact math, um, but just take off about 200 pixels off each side. And then that gives us more of a vintage look. The other thing you can do is actually apply a time code um, over top of it, sort of like a timestamp. So you could add in a custom title and just do, for example, we'll just put custom. And then depending on what font you have, if you have something preloaded, um, that could work. Let's see if there's any. Uh, there's one called din alternate that should be that should be a little bit vintage so what we could do is say do 2001 and then say 06 and then do 29 for example and then all we're going to do is move this into the bottom corner of our clip just drag that over, or we can put it in the top, for example. And then we're just going to scale this down. And this gives us sort of a reference of how old the clip would be, which I think can be really cool. Um, it's definitely something to play with, and you can't use it all the time, but I think it's good to be able to um, sort of have diversity in your clips. So that is today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do like the effect, then please consider supporting uh, the preset that I have made for you guys. Thank you for all the support as always, and I'll see you guys next time. On our own, we jump, we fall, forgotten world, running up, running up. Running up now, won't hide away anymore like yesterday. Cause we're running up now. You can see it in our eyes, and we won't look away. It's time we're here to stay. So we're running up, running up.